everybody. Thanks so much for joining us right here for Laura Trump, One for Questioning. Before we get started, I want to tell you about one of our sponsors, AMAC. As we approach another critical election, a wave of concern washes over America. Recent studies reveal that an astonishing 56% of our fellow citizens report feelings of anxiety or dread about the upcoming presidential election. That's why I stand with AMAC. AMAC is more than a senior discount organization. During these challenging times, they fight for common sense and hope that our nation returns to traditional American values. Visit amac.us forward slash Lara today to seize an exclusive election year special. Four year AMAC membership for just $30. As an AMAC member, you not only enjoy money saving benefits, but also the AMAC magazine, free social security and Medicare advice, a trusted voice in Washington and a community of like-minded patriots who love this great nation. By becoming an AMAC member, you're strengthening a movement dedicated to preserving the principles we hold dear. Take advantage of this election year special, four years for $40 and be part of the solution over the next four years. You can join us now at amac.us forward slash Lara. That's A-M-A-C dot U-S forward slash L-A-R-A. All right, let's start the questions. See what we got today. Hope we got some good ones. Question number one, Laura, I saw you were in Detroit last week to recruit volunteers. How do I get involved? What are you looking for people to do? What a great question. Thank you, sir or ma'am. I was in Detroit. Let me just start out by saying, I feel like I really irritated a lot of Democrats last week with the fact that I was in Detroit, not once, but twice last week. And guess who followed up the visit when I was there? Donald Trump himself was in Detroit last weekend. So they're a little beside themselves because don't forget, Michigan was a state in 2016 that Donald Trump flipped from blue to red. Wednesday, I was in Macomb County, the very county that switched in 2016 in order for Donald Trump to ultimately win that state, obviously. He didn't win the state of Michigan in 2020. And I put that in air quotes for a reason. You can decipher why, however you want to interpret that. But we're going to win it this round and we're doing everything we can. So the fact that we we had Trumps on the ground all week really shook up the Democrats. And that's okay with us. I was there on Friday with the chairman of the RNC, Michael Watley, because we were launching our election integrity trainings. And this is a program that I would love everybody who loves this country to be involved with. What we have pledged is 100,000 volunteers to work in polling locations, to be poll watchers, to be in the tabulation centers where the mail-in votes come in. Lawyers out there who want to be on our team, we want you as well because we cannot be reactive this election cycle. We have to be proactive. I think everyone can agree with that. We can never repeat the mistakes and the disaster that was 2020. We learned a lot from that election. We're applying it right now. And let me just state this very clearly for all the Democrats who tune into this. We want every person in this country who has the legal ability to go vote to feel confident when you go cast a vote that your vote matters and that your vote counts. I mean that for people voting for Republicans, Democrats, or third party candidates. So anybody trying to tell you out there that this is about anything other than election integrity is just flat out lying to you. So protectthevote.com is the website if you wanna be part of that team. If you wanna be part of our Trump Force 47, the website is trumpforce47.com, We want you to be part of that as well. Here's the idea. It's going to take all of us to win this election. There's a community wide effort that can be put in place. And it literally is about you tackling, say, 10 people in your area. These are people you might know from church, the grocery store, people who live down the street from you. Think about how great a thing it will be if let's say you have a thousand people out there who each target 10 people. These may be low propensity voters, voters who maybe don't vote every single election cycle. The guy you see at the gym who's like, I don't know if it's worth me going to vote this year. I don't know, the Democrats get tricky. Maybe they'll have something up their sleeve. Is it even worth me taking time to go vote? Yes is the answer. Think about you taking 10 people, your friend taking 10 people, see how that builds up and think back to the 2020 election. That was an election that was decided by tens of thousands of votes. We do this all across the country. It's game over, too big to rig. We swamp the votes. 
So that's the plan. And that's what we want people to join up to do. So again, protectthevote.com, trumpforce47.com, or you can go to donaldjtrump.com as always to find out more information about all of these. It will take all of us who love this country to make sure that we get this election right. I want every person on November 5th going to bed early because Donald Trump will be declared the next president of the United States early in the night. We're not taking it into the next day or the next week. Forget that. We're done with those days. We want a decision early that night. And I believe if every legal vote is counted, Donald Trump indeed will become the 47th president. So come join the team. We would love to have you. All right, next question. All right. Would you rather spend a three-week trip visiting multiple interesting interesting destinations or one interesting destination? Three weeks? Please don't put me anywhere for three weeks. Absolutely not. I know there are some people who like that. Like you get somewhere and you really just settle in. I can't do it. It's not for me. I, I go really crazy, honestly, after just a couple of days somewhere. And I, I feel like I maybe told this story here before, but for those of you new to the show, let me just fill you in on it. Eric and I had to change very last minute our plans for our honeymoon because I broke both of my wrists jumping a horse. No surprise to anyone who knows me, pretty standard operating procedure for me. That said, we changed our honeymoon and instead of going to Africa, which obviously Africa is a big trip, still haven't been. Eric Trump, 10 year anniversary coming up November. Just saying, it's three days after election day, maybe he wants to get something on the books. We had to change our uh, trip last minute. And instead of flying to Africa, which yeah, you have a lot of travel time to get there. So you probably wanna be there for like a week to make it worth all the travel. We ended up going somewhere very close and we actually, when we were looking at how long we wanted to stay for our honeymoon, we were both like, I don't know, we can't stay for a week. So our honeymoon was four days. That's it. I know people go for like two weeks, like a big thing. Not us. We can't do it. And the good news is that Eric and I are aligned in this. We both move at a very fast pace in life. I guess that's our problem. And we maybe need to be forced sometimes to slow down. So I'm going to choose the multiple destinations. Also, I love going places. I love traveling. I don't have a lot of time to travel anywhere for pleasure right now. But after a big win we're going to have on November 5th, I intend to take a little time with my husband, a little time for myself, with my kids. And uh, I like thinking about the idea of traveling places. So please send me to multiple destinations. Do not keep me somewhere for three weeks. Absolutely not under any circumstances. If that's for you, I love it for you. It's not for me. Okay. All right. If you suffer from chronic pain, listen up. Here's a way to help you get real relief. As a fitness fanatic, I understand that recovery is just as important as the workout itself. But whether you're recovering from an injury or just looking for everyday relief from pain in your joints and muscles, nerve pain, fibrosis, and inflammation, I recommend Golden Revive Plus from Up Wellness. This advanced all natural formula combines six powerful anti inflammatory ingredients, including a proprietary turmeric extract that's 200 times stronger than raw turmeric. All of this to address the root cause of your pain, reducing scarring, swelling, and tissue damage using the healing powers of nature to help your body heal itself. Formulated by husband and wife team, doctors Josh and Amanda Levitt, Golden Revive Plus gives you real pain relief and better range of motion, plus better heart, eye, and brain health. Join the over 300,000 Americans who are already using Golden Revive Plus to get and stay pain-free. For a limited time, you can try Golden Revive Plus for 30% off at goldenrevive.com. Just use promo code TRUMP at checkout. All right, I really want to share with you a new company called Googie Pet. Googie Pet is a total game changer for dogs. Pet owners care deeply about our pets because they're members of our family. I've introduced my dogs to Googie Pet all natural vitamin chews and not only do they think they're getting an extra treat, but I know I'm doing something great for their health and longevity. Big brands often put profits before our pet's health, but Googie Pet is different. It started with three dog loving brothers on a mission. Partnering with a PhD animal nutritionist, they created Googie Pet, a family-owned business producing dog vitamin chews that are made in the USA. With Googie Pet, every ingredient has one purpose, to help improve the health and happiness of our dogs. The Googie Pet 10-in-1 multivitamin chews not only improve their joint flexibility, energy levels, and gut health, 
but also make their coats softer and shinier than ever. Googie Pet's hemp calming chews naturally ease anxiety, making dogs calmer, happier, and healthier. I'm so passionate about improving the health of dogs like mine that I've secured a special 40% discount offer for you. Go to googiepet.com slash Laura Trump, and it will redirect you to buy on Amazon. Use code Laura Trump at checkout for 40% off. That's googiepet.com forward slash Laura Trump and use code Laura Trump at checkout. Next question. How do you have time to work out, take care of kids <laughs> and leave the Republican party? What an appropriate question after the one we just had. Um, I don't have nearly enough time to do everything. And I am probably like, honestly, a lot of people out there, maybe a lot of moms out there where you feel like kind of scattered all the time. I know that I cannot operate at this level forever, but the good news is I don't have to. There is an end date to all of this and it comes on November 5th of this year where things will not be this crazy, where I will not be traveling like I currently am now, where I will not be having to operate again at this sort of a level. So I can sustain anything for a, a limited amount of time. I'll be honest, my kids get very upset when I travel places and I do a lot, multiple times a week. But I hope that one day they look back on what I'm doing here and they're very proud of their mom because I'm doing it for them. I thought very long and hard about taking this position and about running to become the co-chair of the RNC. And initially I was very reluctant to get involved because of my kids, because I'm already a very busy person and I already don't feel like I spend as much time with my kids as I want to. I want to be around them all the time. You know, you only get so much time with your kids and then they, and once they're really, once they're like able to drive, then that's it. They don't really need you anymore. Then they're gone. So I want to maximize my time with them. But when I thought about it more, I said, you know what, this is for them. This is for the next generation of Americans because I think about how lucky I was to get to grow up in the America that I did. And I want my kids to have that exact same opportunity and their kids beyond and so forth. And so it really is for them. Um, and to be honest with you, I feel like I don't sleep nearly enough as I should. Every time I talk to my parents, my dad's like, you getting any more sleep? I hope you're getting more sleep. And I'm like, dad, not until November 5th. That's when we sleep. That's when we rest. So I've learned that if I want to get things done, I have to wake up very early. Um, and that's what we're going to continue to do. And that's okay because come November 6th, I will sleep a little. I'll take some time off. I'll be with my kids a little more till then we got to just open her up full throttle. We have no other options. Um, and so I, I just try to fit in everything I can probably with not enough sleep. So don't look too closely at this face. All right. Here, next question. Oh, how appropriate. If you did not have to sleep, how would you spend the extra eight hours? All right, so I lived in France for, I did a study abroad program there in college and I spoke fluent French and I still speak French now, but you, everybody out there who knows another language, it's like anything, it's like music, it's like whatever it is. If you don't use it, you lose it. And I have a very good family friend who speaks French and I only text him and only speak to him in French. But other than that, I don't get a lot of time to practice that. I would love to perfect my French again and get very fluent again. I'd love to pick up another language because yo comprendo un poquito espanol because I speak French. I understand a little Spanish. See what I did there? Um, I'd love to do that. I think that's great. I think it's really cool to be able to communicate with people all over the world. I probably would try to pick up another language. Um, I certainly would play the piano more. I don't get nearly enough time to do that. And it is one of my favorite things to do. It's so relaxing. It's so enjoyable. My kids love it. Um, but as you just heard from my previous answer, I'm already not sleeping uh, eight hours a night. Eight hours a night. What are you, crazy? I do not have that luxury. And actually, I think I'm more of like a six hour a night sleeper. Like that's my six to seven is like a perfect amount of time for me to sleep. I, I feel like if I go beyond that, I'm a little bit like, it's like, it's not good. I'm a little low energy Jeb. You know what I mean? Like I can't, it doesn't work for me. So I need six to seven right now. We're not always achieving that. Um, but again, that's okay. Uh, so, you know, if we ever come up with a way, I don't know, maybe Elon Musk with an ability to not have to sleep, those would be the best options. All right. Final question. 
When will our favorite, the people's president, be announcing his VP? Can't wait to see who he picks. Hashtag MAGA. Uh, who do you guys like? I love asking people about their thoughts for VP. I know, I know what's going on in the mix. Um, I know the top contenders. And I think you'll be very happy with the ultimate decision. To be honest, I don't think he's made his ultimate decision yet. I think there's a couple of people he rotates around and uh, I don't know that we're officially there yet. I believe he's going to announce his decision either at the convention or just before the convention. How cool is it gonna be? By the way, imagine this. Imagine you're tuning into the convention literally to see who walks out on stage to deliver the speech as the next vice president of the United States, because I believe that's what's going to happen. How cool will that be? I mean, ever the showman, Donald Trump, right? This is this is sort of what he always does. This is his MO, this is how he always operates. I kind of love that idea. Um, the good news on our side is that if you look at the slate of people we have on the Republican bench, great, great people. You could choose from probably 10 different people and you it, aces, like that's a win. It's a home run the other side. They don't even want their candidate, the guy who's currently running the show, I'll put that in air quotes, for the Democrats. They don't even want their guy, Joe Biden. I think they're trying to figure out ways to get him out. I read an article the other day about how that's the plan. Not that that's a surprise to anybody. We've all kind of been like, how are, on earth are they going to run Joe Biden? Really? Lowest approval rating of any incumbent in history? Not, I mean, man, he and Kamala Harris, you add those two numbers together, that's still a failing score in any sort of class out there. It's an F between those two. That's that's how bad their approval rating is. It's no good. So they've got a real problem on our hands. We don't. We've got a great candidate in Donald Trump. He's got momentum behind him. He has energy behind him. He's on offense. And whoever it is that he decides to choose for his running mate, I think it'll just be the cherry on top, just a little icing on top of the cake for the American people. Um, but he may wait. He may wait until the convention. And by the way, that would be okay with me. As somebody who has a lot to do with the happenings at the convention and all, all those things, I'd be okay with that as well. I think it'd be a great show. I, and by the way, who's interested in the ratings for between the RNC and the DNC? Won't that be a telling thing, right? I'm sure the Democrats, some of them will tune in for ours just to see... Um, how much better all of our ideas are, but I digress. All right, that's gonna do it for us for this episode of Laura Trump, wonder for questioning. Thank you for the questions. Send me more, you can post under this episode. You can go to any of our social media. Please like, subscribe, share, and follow. And we'll see you back here next time for more of Laura Trump, wonder for questioning. Nothing is worse than being on a phone call that drops. Nothing is worse than trying to text someone and you can't reach them because your phone is out of service range. And nothing is worse than supporting these major corporations and companies who don't support us. That is why I love Patriot Mobile. They are America's only Christian conservative wireless network. They use every cell tower out there available to all networks so that they have the greatest 4G and 5G coverage nationwide, and they support the causes that are important to us as conservatives. If you go today to patriotmobile.com slash Laura Trump and use the promo code Trump, you will get free activation today. Again, that is patriotmobile.com slash Laura Trump. The promo code is Trump for free activation so that you can get a great cell plan and feel good about doing it.